Welcome back, guys. I'm Tiddly Winks, and this is Book of Demons. So when we last left off, we basically gotten through the uh, first level up here, or I guess the tutorial level, I guess you could call it. So now we are heading down, 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 down into the. Ah, oh, congratulations! Flexoscope is now available. So yeah, you can actually choose how long each level or whatever lasts, so you have a bit more flexibility in how long the game goes for you. With Flexscope, you can choose the size of the game session you will play. Depending on your preference, you can divide your adventure into smaller or bigger games. Regardless of how much time you have, Flexscope makes sure that rewards and threats in a single game are fair, and that the gameplay experience can be completed in the protected time. Flexscope earns you gameplay style, so time estimates for each sub subsequent session should be more and more accurate. Nice. Let's go for 13. I want to go somewhere between small and medium. I'm not really into a huge deal, so we'll go with this. Yes. So I'll give us all this. Nice. So let's head on down. I'm arm. Click, click, click. Oh, dungeon, dungeon generator. I keep expecting that to be like a thing that I have to click on my own. But no. So it's been a little while since I've played. I need to take a minute to kind of remember everything here. Oopsie, that caught on fire. Ouchies. Oh, hello, what the fuck are you? Gargoyles. Gargoyles have stone hearts. They are immune to elemental effects, poison, fire, and ice. When the gargoyles turn to statue, they heal over time. Beware. Gotcha. There we go. That actually hurt Tad. We're not gonna use the health yeah. thing just yet. We'll just take a round. Oh, these guys are tough. Holy uh. shit, back up. I just wanna I wanna smack them. There we go. Wow. Can I do anything with this? Yes. I didn't say oh, okay, I just uh, disturbed them. That's fine. <laughs> Kaboo! Wait for that to clear, and you are kind of a new looking guy. Shielded monsters. Some armored monsters are protected by shields. Damage the shield by clicking on the shield icon. Monsters are immune until their shields are destroyed. Some shields are magical and can be can reappear after being destroyed. Okay. Okay, I see now. That's interesting. I want to back up. I want to back way the fuck up. Here we go. I gotta remember, I can just hold click. I don't have to do anything. We'll just back here to fill that up. There we go. Yeah, this is much easier. I keep forgetting I can just hold click. And stairways up. So I think there's some more stuff I can explore up this way. Yeah, I, I totally skipped this. I didn't even pay attention. Level clear. Awesome. Well, since this level's clear, we're gonna grab that. And we'll just head on down. Re-entering a level. I'm pretty sure I've had this one before. After you take the stairs down, you can re-enter a level from the back by clicking on the right side of the level. Gotcha. You can always go back to the town from the crosscut screen, even between levels. Gotcha. So I guess I can go back to town from here. That's what it means. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. There we go. I got you and all the monies. I get this. I want to. I want to smack you. There we go. I was getting a little close. There you go. You turn around. Smart dude. Save me some time. What do we have? None of the invite card. I have to go talk to the uh, not the wizard, prophet or whatever he's called in town. New gossip in town, yeah. Smash, 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 pop, boop. Oh, that gave me a new one. Boop. I feel like I'm missing something here, but I'm not. Oh, I almost didn't see you. Not that it matters much, you're easy to kill. Alright, let's back up. And boom. There we go. Never get hit. That's kind of a goal. 
So we can open that. If we do that, that'll knock a bunch of stuff over, but it doesn't really do much good. I was really hoping to kill somebody. Kapoo. Achievement unlocked. The Depths Survivor. Alright. Oh, hello, Gargoyle. You guys suck. Glad I don't have I haven't seen very many of you yet. Back up. Level up. Let's see what we want to go with. We got quite a bit of health. I'll go with some mana. I can't do anything with that. I don't know what it is. There. Level up, please. Thank you. Ah. We'll get just a tiny bit of mana. Because I feel like even though we're a warrior, we need just a little bit of mana. I see you. Thought you had me. I see you too. I want to get you. There we go. It's another health. Nice. I missed a point or turn or something here. So we're not going to go down just yet. Oh no. Level's cleared. Never mind. So this is cool. So, it, so it's kind of an adaptive gameplay. I like that. The idea that you can customize the game so if you don't have a lot of time, you can just go out and play. Or, you know, you have a five minute game or whatever. Green is found in the dungeon or placed in the cauldron. It transforms into prizes. Collect the contents of the cauldron, take back to the bar- or talk to the barmaid. Beware, when you die, you lose prizes stored in the cauldron. But man and heart points are preserved. Nice. Alright. Actually, she mentioned that in the last game. Boom, boom, boom. I see you. I hear you. Oh god, there's a lot of you now. You're gonna jump. We're gonna get you. We're gonna get you. And we're gonna try to hit you eventually. I don't I wanna I don't wanna get closer, I just wanna smack you. There we go. It's a little difficult sometimes. Uh. Fuck off, I hate these guys so much. Really, they're gonna be the bane of my existence in this game, aren't they? Oh, there was nothing in there. Alright, let's back up. Let's take care of you. I'm gonna pull you up here so I can get away from him a little bit. I just want to... There we go. Much better. I gotta get you in my little light zone thing. She made level cleared. Okay. I am the cleanser. The cleanser of worlds. How convenient. Did I get that? Yes. To the cellar! To the stairs! To the something! Get my dungeon crawl on. I like that it also has time up here in the corner. It's nice. I want to smack you. There we go. Oh, another card. Where are you? Unidentify. Bloody armor. Covers hearts lost in battle. Yes, we will equip that. So it costs five what? Mana. This orb contains your blue and green mana. Blue mana, casting spell, costs blue mana. There are many ways to replenish it. Okay. Green mana, equipping artifact cards, converts blue mana to green mana. Okay. Green mana can't be used for casting, but will change once you unequip a card. Okay. So I have to be really careful about that. You know, good news is this only costs one, so it's all good. Go away. Go away. I got that heart. Alright. Oh, what are you? You're a new thing. I hear you. Haha. -ha. Got lots of gossips to listen to when we get in town. Ooh. Lots of archers, too. What can I do about this? I can get you. I can hit you. I can hit you. Alright, we need to retreat! Retreat! Grab these hearts. 
There we go. Oh, at least the spur we're giving somewhat. Oh, I feel sneeze. Another level! I think I'll go with some mana. Or not mana, but health. Do mana next time. Ah! Asshole! But you guys will be a little easier now, so that's fine. I almost got you all anyways. Ooh, what's that? Stuff. Stuff got added to the pool. Eh. We'll go over here. There we go, that's not too bad. Got really difficult all of a sudden. Getting all these ranged mobs. That's what it is. Ouch. Got some money over here. We'll explore over here because there's that big scary looking dude earlier. Yeah. Why are you so yucky about it all? Bolgar. I think that's why I named you. Ugh, explosive cows. Are those cows? I think they were cows. They look kind of cow-like. So we found the boss, we found... Creepy cows. They have a huge range. Which is worth keeping in mind. This place is huge, I like. Maybe I'll go for an extra big one later. Just see what it's like. I'll just cut it down into multiple episodes or something. Get some goodies. Nothing interesting. Oh. Alright. We've explored the dungeon now to get the boss guy. I'm gonna try using my blue card. Conrad the Chop Chop. Oh, come on. We need- we probably want to get out of here. I don't want to hit- I don't care about him too much. I do kind of want to give myself some space though. Go to hell! Yeah! Little Cupid thing. Another card. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. There we go. Terrible aim. Oh, we got two health pots here. Or two health pools. We'll drink from you. And that's everything here. We're we'll open this, see if there's any gold or anything to drop out. Yeah. Level clear. Aw, oh, yeah. We'll head that way. Oh, we can just shortcut. Sweet! So how long is this gone? About 13 minutes? Alright. Excuse me. We'll head to town real quick. Talk to people, and then we'll call the episode there. And then when we pick up next time, we'll go down to the next level. I almost turned that into my outro right there, so I guess if you guys want to skip this part- Oh, hello, you're a new guy. We will... talk to you. Finally, a challenge, and a chance to use my knowledge for the good. These mystical cards aren't used to cheat and get money from the hopeless naive. So of course the fortune-telling woman knows nothing about them. Damn. However, the true scholars of the arcane, like the hermits of the eastern wilds, sometimes pass their secrets to those they deem worthy, like myself. You should know that despite their modest look, such objects can hold powerful enchantments with remarkable properties. Still, as long as their wondrous attributes remain unknown, they are completely useless. Consider yourself fortunate, as I will identify them for you. For a price. Animated cadavers are capable of experiencing only the most base effect, hunger. Who can imagine a less meaningful existence? Their bodies are still decomposing, so it's recommended to keep them at a distance as the gases they produce are of the deadliest kind. Fortunately, they also smell awful, which serves as a warning. Just like the stench of charlatanry emanating from the fortune teller's wagon. Ah, I bet this is the thing I saw earlier. The flying wild hogs, I thought they were cows. Anything else? These creatures are made of stone, which makes them extremely resilient to elements. Fire, frost, or poison cannot harm them. 
Their abilities are fascinating. When harmed, they petrify and lie in slumber for thousands of years, slowly regenerating. All adventurers should be warned that statues may not be what they seem. Some scholars claim that gargoyles carry a trace of demonic blood, like that charlatan woman. Although it's more <laughs> obvious in her case. Wow. Back. So I can get you to identify my cards. Alrighty. Got that done. Identify my cards, please. How much money do I have? 3,000? Uh, we'll bite it. What do we get? Amulet of mana. Regenerates mana points over time. It's nice. Cost 2,000 to unlock. You can only unlock by visiting the sage. Alrighty. Uh, back. And we'll, we'll, we'll think about that a bit. You got something to say? More gossip or just that stuff? Yeah. What about you? Let's check out our magic cauldron. We have two prizes, we got mana, we got that. Let's see what happens, because I'm curious. Yes. Tasty soup. Sweet, that did a thing. So I got some soup and I got a double two points to everything. Nice. So hello, sir. Thank the heavens for hearing my prayers and sending us a champion of light. I shall aid you in your struggle to the best of my limited abilities. Come to me should you need remedies for ailments of body or soul. Yet you should remember it is no small task to face the legions of evil. Oh, you you're the healer. You shield yourself with faith. There is no better protection against darkness. If you allow yourself to falter, you shall become defenseless and even risk losing your immortal soul. I saw what happened to those who went astray in their spiritual vocation and... Oh, no, it's better not to dwell on such things lest darkness overcome us. Yes. Well... Death Rage. So you don't have any more gossip, but I know you now. I was thinking you were like an alchemist or something. Let's talk to you real quick. I have no cards I can upgrade, I can no charge. Alrighty. Flesh. We will... Unlock this alert, but we will unlock one thing. Yes. Kaboom! How much does the next one cost? 5k? Alrighty. So how do I... Inventory? Ah. Oh, excuse me. Regenerates mana points over time. That sounds like something I could use. But how do I... Left click to equip. Yeah, I don't know. No, we'll, we'll keep this one off for a minute. What else do we have? That's all we have for the moment, because this will give us five of these. Basically, five uses of this. We have that, which doesn't cost us anything, except to recharge it. And I can't do anything with you. Well, anyways, there we go. I should have done this at the afterwards, but... Yeah. I wanted to explain everything to myself and to you guys. So anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm really loving this game. It's a lot of fun. It's a nice, nice kind of casual dungeon crawler, little bit of card game thing going there. And, yeah, I'm planning to fully go down to the bottom of the game, to the bottom of hell or whatever, to meet the devil in his bathtub. Because <laughs> it looks fun. And anyways, if you guys enjoy, feel free to leave a like. I'd love to hear from you guys. Any tips, tricks, hints, just general comments, suggestions. I love, or hell, even just, you know, general chit-chat. I'd love to hear from you guys. Leave me a comment. And if you guys want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye!